Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a python program to print a pattern. That is we want to print stars in the right triangle shape. So this is our today's pattern. So without talking much let's begin with the program. Like previous pattern programs in this program also we'll ask the user to enter the number of row. We'll take the number of row from the user. And we are not asking about the column from the user because here in this pattern number of columns are related to number of row. So that's why we are asking only for the number of row from the user. Right. So let's take the input from the user in the python file. So I'll take variable name as n and I'll use input function to take input from the user. So I'll print this message enter the number of row. And here I am using python3 and in python3 by default this input function will take input as the string value. But here we want number of row that is the integer value. So I need to convert this string input to integer using int function. Now the number of row is the integer input and that will be stored in the variable n. Right so now we are done with the input. Next we will see how to print the stars in the right triangle shape. Here we can see we want to print stars in different row and column. So if we want to print stars in different row and column then we need to use nested for loop. So here also we will use the nested for loop. In the nested for loop there will be a outer for loop and inner for loop. Here in this program the outer for loop will be the for loop for row. Inside that we will take the for loop for column. Because here we will print this pattern like this. In a row we will print the star in the different columns in the required column after completing that we'll go to the next row and we'll print the stars in the different column of that row after completing that row we'll go to the next row we'll print like this so that's why we need to take the outer for loop as the for loop for row and inside that we need to take the for loop for column all right so let's take the nested for loop so first we'll take the for loop for row so here i is the variable which which will represent the row in our program and here i took range function in the range function i need to mention how many rows i want in the output i want n rows right we took the input from the user here number of rows and that input is stored in the variable n that means we want n rows so here i need to mention the range as n if i take range as n just n then that means it will take the range from 0 to n so when I enter n as 5, it will take range as 0 to 5. So i value can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is about the row. Next in a row, what we need to print. Here we can see this pattern is little bit different from the previous patterns. Because here we need to print space first followed by a star. Here we need to print space next star. Right. So in this pattern, first we need to print space. After that we need to print star. So that's why inside the for loop for row we need to take two for loop. One for loop is to print space, another for loop is to print star. So because first here we want to print space, after that we need to print star. We need to take the for loop for space first. In a row first we need to print space, after that we need to print star. So to print this space first we need to take the for loop. So here I'll take for loop for space. I took the variable name as j and here in the range function I need to mention how many space I want in each row. When i is 0, so row is 0, we want 1, 2, 3 and 4 space. This is the output when we will get n value is 5, number of row is 5. So when i is 0 we need 4 space, when i is 1 we need 3 space, when i is 2 we need 2 space. And when i is 3 we need 1 space and when in i is 4 we need 0 space. We need like this. So to print this space we need a formula. So I'll write the formula as n minus i minus 1. So here n is nothing but the number of row. Okay user input. i is nothing but the row value. Minus 1 is the constant right. So when n is 5 i is 0 and minus 1. So 5 minus 0 minus 1 so we'll get 4 here also 5 minus i value is 1 minus 1 so we'll get 3 here also 5 minus 2 minus 1 so we'll get 2 5 minus 3 minus 1 so we'll get 1 so 5 minus 4 minus 1 
so we'll get zero so here we can see so to print this space how many space we want we wrote a formula n minus i minus 1 so here i need to mention that i want the n minus i minus 1 space next here this is the for loop to print space so to print space and n is equal to empty string n parameter is to keep the control in the same line after printing this space to print the next space in the same line i need to use end is equal to empty string the default value of end is slash n right we are done with the for loop for space next we need to write the for loop to print the stars so i'll take the variable name as j itself and in the range i need to mention how many stars i want in each row so let's see that so when i is zero we want one star when i is 1, we want 2 star. When i is 2, we need 3 star. When i is 3, we need 4 star. When i is 4, we need 5 star. That is nothing but i plus 1 star, right? In each row, we need i plus 1 star. When i is 0, 1 star. i is 1, 2 star. i is 2, 3 star. i is 3, 4 star. i is 4, 5 star. That is nothing but i plus 1 star. In each row, I want i plus 1 star. So I will mention i plus 1 here. Next here I need to mention print star. Here also I need to take end is equal to empty string to keep the control in the same line. To print the star one after the another in the same line I need this end parameter. Right we are done with the for loop for space and for loop for stars. Next I will take a print function. It is to print the different row in the different lines. After printing star and space in one row, we need to print next row in the next line. For that, we need this print function. So let's execute this. So enter the number of row, I'll enter 5. And here we can see the output. Next, if you want to write this program using a single for loop, you can do that. You can use this string multiplication method. That is, you need to take the for loop for row like this for i in range n, right? Inside this, you can take print function. First, we need to print space, right? So, I you here you need to take space, multiplication symbol. Then, you need to mention how many times. How many times you want to print the space? I want to print it n minus i minus 1, right? So, next, you need to use plus symbol. That is the concatenation symbol. Next, after printing space, you need to print star, right? So here, take star. How many times you want to print this star? You want to print this i plus 1. I'm writing these condition in the single line. I want to print space n minus i minus 1 time. Plus, plus means string concatenation symbol. I need to print star i plus 1 time. So now, if I execute this, and here we can see the output okay so in this way also you can write this program and if you want to print any pattern in this shape that is first space followed by the star then you can use this formula n minus i minus 1 to print the space and i plus 1 to print the star so this is about this pattern so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care